Hey guys, this is Ken from KBD Productions TV. I was asked to do a tutorial, an updated tutorial in 2012 on channel background artwork. So this is my channel and one of the things I learned in, in uh, graphic design school was the KISS rule. Keep it simple. Uh, some people call it uh, K-I-S-S, -S, which is keep it simple stupid. So if you keep it simple, it's not cluttered. Uh, people like it. It's nice and clean. So there's my design and the orange uh, background there. Let's grab this and we'll slide this down. The orange background slowly fades out because these pages can be really long and you don't want your artwork to be that long. So what I used was, let's get right into this, Photoshop CS4. And there is my artwork. I'm going to show you the size in which I do. You don't have to. If I wanted that to fade out quicker, I could have made this artwork a bit smaller, which is sometimes a bit nicer to upload to YouTube. Uh, so here is the size. So it was 1200 wide and 1650 deep pixels and 72 DPI. So let's say OK. So that's what I would start with. Um, I guess we'd have to zoom in just to give you an idea maybe. Maybe you definitely want to know this kind of information. So let's grab just a sidebar here and move this over to here. So the first increment looks like it is um, 150 pixels to that edge. So if you wanted, I'll just leave that there and I'll just go back for a sec. So if you want that much you have to play with this, guys. Uh, I've, I, I probably did about 10 of these and moved things around just so that they would fit in the right spot. Uh, and then I'd bring it back in here, upload it, look at it, maybe for a day, maybe for five seconds. And then I'd go back to the artwork and tweak it. So again, this whole area here, I was tweaking because I wanted to have a whole bunch of buttons because I was going to create other channels productions, gaming, vlogs, whatever, but I just haven't got around to it. So today I'm actually erase this. So I'm going to update the artwork uh, today uh, by removing that. Uh, if you want hyperlinks, as you can see, my mouse is going over that. I have another tutorial on how to do that. Uh, I won't get that get into that with this tutorial. Maybe I'll make another one, a new, a new updated one, because you can't bring this artwork into the program uh, that makes hyperlinks for you um, because it's thinking that you want from here to here and of course when you make your hyperlinks with this huge piece of artwork uh, in the hyperlinks program and you bring it back into uh, YouTube the hyperlinks are like over here so uh, it took me a while to figure out that I had to like grab this little section here and export that. There's probably a better way of doing it. That's the only way I could think of doing it. Anyway, so the first one, we'll get back into this for you. So the first one was at 150 pixels to that edge. Let's let's zoom into this side. Just so you guys can get an idea because I'm pretty sure those are the questions you guys want to know. Uh, so this edge to this orange is 1090 to that edge. Uh, let's go down a bit and we'll show you what the distance is here. So this is all the way down to 120 pixels. Let's zoom back out. There we go. So again, you know the width, the length, or the height. You know this spot. If we just quickly go back here. So that is that spot. And that was, what was that again? Um, so it was at 120 pixels from I guess it's from here to here is 120 pixels and then YouTube starts here I guess you'd also have to go into your settings and then tell it what your height is going to be so I picked 130 I could have gone up to 150 so this is actually important information you want to know beforehand you want a really thick banner or do you want uh, a thinner banner like mine um, Let's go back a step. I'm hoping that it goes back. There you go, guys. There's that. That. Um, so let's. I'm not sure what else you want to know. I think that's all I would want to know is the length, the width, where this edge starts, where this edge starts. It's actually probably a little bit skinnier if you actually wanted to compare it to 
that. I'm not sure exactly what that distance is. Again, it depends on how big your artwork is. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the, the pixel dimensions are from there to there. And, but you know that you can adjust that dimension from there to there. Um, what else do you guys need to know? So is import your artwork, there's your pictures, your uh, icons, depending on what you want there. Of course, I love coffee, so I put that in there. I'm a filmmaker, so I put that there. Do the same thing if you want. Make it do your own. Make it original. Make it exciting. Make people want to ask how you did that. And that's what I accomplished here. All right, guys. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, and rate. You know what? Before we go there, I just realized I said I was going to. Uh, I erased. Uh, where is it? Go back up to the top quickly can people are waiting jeez so so that productions thing was right there so i just deleted that or just basically did that so i'm going to export and when you make this make sure you do it on a transparent background save as oh sorry not we're not going to save as we're going to go to save for web and devices this will help really uh, make it as small as possible, but make it look still good. You have to be under the 256K. If it's over that, it's possible that YouTube won't let you upload it. Um, so JPEG, so the quality is up really high, which is great. So I'm gonna save this. Hopefully it's gonna ask me, I'm gonna call this C, because it's like, again, many versions of this now. Uh, it's a JPEG, which is fine for that. The save button's way down here off the page. Actually, I could probably move this up. There's your save button. So it's now saved. I'm going to hide that. So settings, remove, choose file, and there's our 2012C. Double click that. Wait for it to upload. It might come up with oh done editing used to have a save button here back in the old channels design so there you go guys it's updated and the productions is gone out of there that little button so don't forget to rate subscribe comment thanks for watching and have a great week